Hello, my name is uh, uh, Neil Evgeny, and uh, I want to speak about uh, analysis of uh, fraud activity in online gambling industry. Uh, my talk was subject for some censorship, so I, the, there will be not very much technical details. And uh, some words about me. Uh, my main interests are SAP uh, security research, uh, cybercrime analysis, and uh, also forensics. Uh, uh, some words about uh, my company. Uh, ERP Scan is a world, uh, provides a world leading ERP security scanner for SAP. Also, we uh, provide uh, business critical system security testing and uh, computer forensics and uh, investigations. Uh, our researchers uh, presented uh, materials uh, uh, at the conference such as Balkhead, Defcon, RSA, Hack in the Box, Confidence, Source, uh, Nulcon, and uh, many others. And uh, we have acknowledgments uh, for discovered vulnerabilities uh, in SAP products, Oracle, IBM, VMware, Google, and uh, many others. Uh, so, uh, what uh, about my talk? Uh, this talk was born after a consulting project uh, with one of the gambling companies which intended uh, to improve a fraudulent behavior analysis model in its anti-fraud system. Our objective was to provide an abuse testing in conjunction with customer, just as a white box penetration test as well as a black box anti-fraud system testing. Uh, for discovering an actual fraud schemes and techniques, we conducted a forensic analysis of dedicated servers which uh, uh, fraudsters uh, use uh, for their activity. Uh, the partnership agreement and relations, uh, relationship uh, between ERP scan and our customers prevent us from uh, publishing all detailed information about examined system. And according to non-disclosure agreement uh, in this uh, presentation, uh, common details and cases will be disclosed. However, some uncovered but uh, depersonalized uh, cases might be discussed. Uh, so, at all times, uh, a gambling industry was uh, particularly attractive for fraudsters. Uh, they see an uncontrolled uh, money black hole in most of all internet systems which provide uh, us with various types of financial services. Among related challenges for gambling operators, uh, there are global problems such as uh, uh, street of money laundering and terrorist financing where companies suffer from direct financial losses. Also, there are uh, not least important items like uh, credit card fraud, account takeover, abuse affiliate and bonus pro programs and uh, many others. Uh, let's see at the uh, online gambling uh, market uh, volume. Uh, so, uh, the key point is the fraudsters are confident of their impunity. It's economically inefficient to, legit to litigate against individual person. As rule, uh, gambling companies prefer to conduct an, in an internal investigation only, after which to ban and prohibit account registration for a certain user. If a user was a victim, uh, absolutely clear, companies compensate stolen funds as usual. Uh, if there is a place for any doubt or violations in the past, uh, users uh, are rejected or redirected uh, with claim to their bank. Uh, generally, gambling companies don't initiate any legal proceedings against a separate uh, fraudster due to the fact that majority of companies uh, have bad relations with law and with governments. Moreover, it's uh, mostly uh, located in offshore zones. Uh, traditional scope for uh, fraud is uh, 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 poker, casino, and uh, betting sites. Uh, poker is the most po popular target uh, because it provides a wide array of opportunities for fraud. Uh, uh, formerly, poker is uh, not traditional gambling game. Uh, by region. Uh, different kinds of poker imply playing against other opponents, uh, not against uh, an electronic system. Uh, so, in other words, uh, a skill against chance. 
so uh, it's the first and the main uh, fraud advantage of poker. Uh, descri described uh, principle uh, opens a way for transferring funds between online accounts. Uh, it's about place money flow one another during table game and also instant money transfers uh, each other between accounts. In contrast to it, uh, casino and betting don't allow uh, players to send funds uh, between uh, balances open it in different names. Uh, but it still allows as well as in poker uh, to perform illegal activities such as credit card fraud, money laundering, and different types of abusing. The main idea of all fraud schemes uh, is uh, deposit one money and withdraw uh, other money. And uh, what have gambling operators and uh, what have uh, fraudsters? Uh, and all official gambling companies are working under the supervision of regulators. Uh, one of the most uh, authoritative uh, older gambling control commission uh, released paper uh, where one of the main principles is declared. According to ADCC, uh, three of the most critical areas concerning uh, regulators are player identification, age verification, and location authentication. It's about know your customer procedures, uh, which describe what particular types of personal information should be verified. Uh, so uh, they are full name, identity, location, personal residence address, place and date of birth, email and telephone number, and financial information. Uh, part of listed items uh, are usually checked during uh, registration and uh, first uh, money deposit and others in process of withdrawal. Uh, first off, obtaining uh, legitimate user information is performed uh, from a field registration form and uh, first time transaction details. Uh, secondly, a gambling operator gets information from requested uh, valid uh, government issued identity documents. For bypassing these checks, uh, Froster need to provide the same information. As rulers, they use uh, storing of false documents. Uh, within an underground market, it's very easy to get uh, required goods. For example, complete set of uh, IDs, uh, ID scans, uh, usually costs about uh, between five and twenty-five dollars, dependently of the uniqueness uh, uh, of these documents. Uh, for example, never used, already used, uh, after generated with uh, software, or just uh, photoshopped documents, and dependently of completeness. Uh, for example, only one internal or international passport. Uh, and additional driver license, uh, uh, utility bill, bank statements, uh, and uh, others. Even analysis of taking together different types of information, which cover most of all cases, uh, could be bypassed. Uh, bypassed. Another factor to get uh, around is location. It's elementary to do with the help of SOCs and uh, VPN services, which uh, could be found uh, on the underground crime-to-crime uh, -crime market. Uh, such SOC services provide an access uh, to huge, regularly refreshable SOC and PROX lists. Uh, what allow fraudsters to obtain an IP address uh, of required country and uh, switch it uh, as often as they want. As well as the SOX services, VPN led fraudsters uh, to uh, get dummy IPs, but also give an opportunity to establish uh, a secured connection which protects them either from gambling operator control uh, or an internet service provider control. Uh, aside from described identity control uh, is in aggregate tests uh, gambling software uh, perform a uh, hardware control for recognizing unique accounts and uh, ban non-unique accounts. It catches some system identificators uh, such as uh, operating system IDs, uh, IP address, MAC address, hardware, and uh, system registry. 
So if Frustus uh, use different accounts for their activities, there are two main methods for them to bypass list text checks. The first method is generating uh, virtual machines for every episode of fraud, uh, every episode of working with gambling system. Uh, in other words, for each new account, Frost need to create a, a new virtual uh, machine environment. Uh, there are a lot of software for changing and uh, automated randomization uh, hardware IDs and other system information. Uh, some of the described utilities developed uh, for standard users, but uh, uh, many of them created uh, uh, for Frosters, for Frosters, by Frosters, and uh, we can find uh, it uh, in related underground resources. Moreover, according to last item, there are special virtual machine patches uh, which uh, allow to uh, change uh, virtual device IDs and uh, hiding information about uh, virtual guest editions. Uh, for example, uh, one of the most famous patches is uh, uh, VMware anti-detect patch from CasinoHackers.ru. Uh, uh, the same way is possible to use uh, on host machine without uh, virtual but it's uh, less conveni uh, convenient uh, and also affects the integrity of uh, usual daily system environment uh, for Frosty. Uh, another type, uh, second method uh, is using dedicated servers. As uh, ruler, there is a place for purchasing access to hacked servers available on underground market. Uh, it costs about uh, between two or twenty dollars, dependently uh, on uh, country and uh, uh, hardware. Apparently, for great fraud projects, it's uh, preferable to faster to use uh, durable uh, uh, dedicated server in data center with a stable connection and granted access with full privileges. Uh, but in uh, most cases, uh, Frosters use uh, uh, brute force accounts uh, on remote computers, uh, regardless of the use private or enterprise servers, and regardless of the use client systems. And uh, last item is more common uh, due to lack of strong uh, server security policies. Obviously, the last method is the most widespread way in comparison with uh, using virtual machines uh, because uh, for each fraud episode, uh, unique system and hardware identificators are available. Uh, moreover, there is a place for uh, one of uh, using. In other words, uh, uh, after each account exploitation, uh, Frost uh, can uh, drop and forget about uh, user host. Uh, all described it, uh, all schemes which I will describe uh, below are the same in both method uh, and uh, virtual machines and dedicated servers. So it's uh, just two standards of comfort. Uh, so we could take contrast to data obtained only from dedicated servers. That's why we analyze it, uh, describe it above servers during our consulting project. Uh, it assisted us to get an, an understanding of actual schemes and uh, techniques. Uh, so, uh, main fraud activities in online gambling uh, you can see it's uh, carding, account hacking, bonus hacking, and uh, uh, global problems such as money laundering and tourism financing. It's uh, not uh, items for this research, it's uh, global problems and uh, uh, they will be forever. Uh, so, carding. Carding is uh, one of the most frequent uh, fraud cases in online gamble system time and language, uh, victim, country, IP address, and others, according to obtained information. Uh, it helps to simulate a legitimate user activity, and, and anti fraud system often doesn't have any doubts uh, until victim is appeared to with claims for investigation. Uh, the main way for described method is uh, to deposit from one payment system and uh, uh, chip dump money 
uh, pump over to other account or just uh, withdraw with other si payment system. Obvi obviously, these operations uh, often complete uh, successfully because uh, of fraudsters have uh, required documents for all kinds of uh, identity checks. On these uh, uh, screenshots, you can see a post about uh, selling uh, credit card data uh, with uh, full information, uh, with uh, without any information, and a full set of with full set of information. Uh, so, in second case, fraudsters have uh, limited information such as uh, only card uh, holder name and address, uh, primary account number, expiration date, and uh, card uh, verification value. Obviously, it requires uh, uh, more. Mm, it requires more uh, attempts uh, to uh, perform uh, fraud successfully. In current case, a good uh, final of fraud implies approved operation uh, with current account balance. As usual, it's about internal transfer to other account balance or chip dumping. In other words, uh, pumping of uh, funds between uh, two fraudulent accounts during a table game. Against the first case, it's uh, not preferable to try uh, try to detect this draft with money because uh, because of any approval documents uh, absence. Uh, due to different principles of work uh, in gambling systems, the first described uh, uh, case is possible for all kinds of gambling, um, but the second is preferable for poker because uh, others don't provide uh, uh, any variants of transferring funds between accounts, between balances. Uh, now that the same schemes are working also for most of all popular e-payment systems in which fraudsters have uh, stolen or hacking accounts. As a credit card data or online wallet accounts are available for purchase uh, in an underground market. For example, CVV dumps uh, are available in different formats, as uh, you can see here. Uh, it uh, costs about uh, uh, between two and uh, five dollars uh, per run, uh, dependently of country and uh, seller reputation. Uh, in this case, uh, first uh, get uh, random and unchecked cards, and uh, cards and e-payments accounts with granted and uh, checking amount of funds uh, costs about uh, uh, 10, uh, between 10, between 10 and uh, 14 persons uh, from my uh, balance, dependently of account type and complexity for withdrawal from certain account. Uh, next uh, type of fraud is uh, account recover. Uh, this type uh, uh, is when a victim lost control over own account. As usual, it's result of some technical problems or other problems. Uh, these issues are possible because of both parties. Uh, one of the hand, gambling operators sometimes uh, have technical vulnerabilities, uh, uh, for example, SQL injection or data breaches can lead to it. Or a uh, weak password recovery validation could provide uh, described issue. Uh, on the other hand, a uh, user can be a victim from uh, malware attack, uh, spyware, phishing, or even social engineering. Uh, besides, uh, in uh, nowadays, uh, uh, users often could disclose uh, sensitive information in social networks, uh, in this information about themselves, what uh, simplifies a uh, frost activity. Uh, obviously, fraudsters need to simulate a uh, legitimate activi user activity after gaining control of victim account. So they make unauthorized transactions, uh, have different options for account exploitation and making authorized transactions, such as uh, stealing account funds uh, on account, obtaining ownership in case of account identity was not approved yet with valid documents and uh, he can uh, use uh, uh, own documents. Uh, and also using account balance as a transit point uh, for fraudulent money and uh, uh, selling account access on underground market 
and uh, just spending money for fun. Uh, in comparison with already described types of road, uh, current uh, one is the most unusual. One of the most features is that uh, there are no victims apart from gambling operator. Frost uh, don't steal any player funds or exploit their accounts. Additionally, bonus hunting means obtaining all bonus, all possible bonuses uh, from gambling system, uh, where there is a place for violation terms of uh, service. Uh, additionally, uh, bonus hunting uh, was a way to get all bonuses, but uh, uh, community evolution blurred, blurred the boundaries and amended the term of bonus hunting. Now it includes uh, such activities uh, as uh, affiliate programs abuse, uh, bonus office abuse, arbitrage, betting, and uh, other unfair uh, activities like uh, teaching, chip dumping, using bots to wager bonuses, and uh, many other. Affiliate bonus program abuse is the most uh, popular type uh, of bonus hunting. Uh, these programs are developed for attracting new players. Violation all is uh, consisting registering in partner program provided by gambling operator and creating forged uh, players for Frosters affiliate accounts. Uh, gambling operators usually pay to partners for new real money players. Real money player is a user who deposit at least uh, uh, $50 and uh, bet uh, at least uh, one bet, or play at least uh, one hand in poker. Uh, for each account, uh, a new player, there is a registered internet wallet with the same IDs. Uh, uh, funny user creation is based on information from stolen identity documents. And uh, these documents and uh, these uh, e payment wallet uh, uh, used uh, for depositing money through affiliate link. Uh, Thus, uh, after each forged player registration, Froster need to simulate legal user, user activity. After vote, uh, he usually get commission uh, about uh, uh, between twenty or two hundred fifty dollars per real money user. In case of cost. Uh, uh, per action plan, CPA plan. All commissions are paid monthly, but sometimes Froster uh, get banned account apart from money. And in this case, uh, they need to register a new affiliate account with uh, new holder requisites after uh, what to continue creating users and uh, hunting bonuses. Uh, bonus offer booth uh, uh, is related to different types of bonuses. Uh, they are welcome bonus, reload bonus, and uh, no deposit bonus. Uh, gambling operator provide all new players with different uh, with money for motivation play. Uh, welcome and reload bonuses are intended uh, to just register it or determined players, which can uh, get bonus about uh, uh, 50 or two. 200 uh, percent for first deposit. Uh, for example, if user uh, deposits uh, uh, $1,000 and uh, get uh, 100 percent bonus, uh, he will get uh, another 1,000. Uh, in other words, uh, deposit one and uh, play with $2,000. After that, they need to beat a wager for withdrawal uh, or use uh, received funds. Uh, no, deposit, no deposit bonus is another type which provides players with different sum of funds uh, after account registration. As usual, it's amount uh, uh, about uh, $50 for one account. Uh, obviously, uh, each user can get only one bonus uh, forever, uh, so goal for Frosters is to create uh, a lot of player accounts and uh, hunt profitable bonuses and to withdraw it. Uh, another type is uh, arbitrage betting. 
uh, betting arbitrage is a headache only for betting market. Uh, these activities are consisting in registration of tokens with bookmakers, uh, which have different opinions for sport event result. Uh, first, uh, just should to place a bet per two outcome and win regardless uh, of an outcome for a long distance. Uh, describe activity is prohibited by betting uh, operators uh, because of guaranteed losses and uh, guaranteed place swings. And uh, all accounts involved in arbitrage betting are closed. Uh, in this case, Frost uh, should uh, uh, generate uh, new uh, one-time accounts and uh, make profit. Uh, there are other activities uh, such as Discounted activities, uh, chip dumping, cheating, and other part uh, uh, and other. Uh, they are part of uh, described internal schemes. Uh, for example, chip dumping is used for transfer funds uh, account uh, during uh, play on the table while frosters simulate uh, legal user activity. Uh, for welcome bonus, it's uh, easier to uh, use bot for completing uh, wagering requirements. Uh, it used for welcome or reward bonuses. Also, there is software for odds calculating uh, in poker. Uh, there are different types of dishonesty which are not desirable not only for professional frosters, uh, but also for all uh, honest but uh, crafty players uh, because it uh, gets them a uh, competitive competitive advantage. Uh, so, as I described above, frosters have different schemes, but part of internal processes are similar. Also, they often involve one account in interserial fraud schemes. Uh, so, for all described above techniques in common below, unique goods are required. Uh, they are system IDs, at, uh, Windows platform and hardware identificators uh, and drivers identificators. IP addresses, uh, proof of identity such as documents or scans. Uh, uh, often they use uh, crime to crime services and uh, also, of course, gambling software. Uh, let's some, let's uh, see some cases and uh, uh, let's find some of listed above artifacts in the wild. Uh, so, case number one, observing platform. Uh, all activity, uh, all activity of raster uh, perform on dedicated cell and connecting to it uh, into, uh, with the help of uh, RDP. Uh, so, uh, uh, he should uh, get uh, RDP access uh, in the uh, underground uh, market uh, and uh, as he uh, buy it for two or three dollars and dealer with uh, these accounts buy uh, not only for one customer and uh, so uh, we uh, need to buy accounts uh, in uh, this uh, uh, from this dealer and uh, Analyze and to analyze it. Uh, so, uh, all operating systems, uh, Windows operating systems, uh, have um, uh, event logging by default. Uh, so, we can uh, see them in administrative tools and event viewer. Uh, here, we can find a security event log uh, and uh, log for log on, log off activities and uh, uh, we need to find an event ID uh, 4624 for Windows 7 and uh, 528 for Windows XP and uh, logon type 10, what means uh, RDP access. Uh, and uh, here we will see a server username, domain name, logon type, uh, also Froster host name and Froster IP address. Let's see. Uh, here, uh, this is uh, this uh, fresh screenshot. So I'm not a policeman. I'm just a researcher, and I don't want to disclose uh, these names. So I hide the IP address and uh, uh, names of Rostam. Uh, here we can uh, target username, 
uh, tag it the name name uh, login type 10 which means of the p uh, first host name and first ip address uh, we can uh, Okay, uh, we can uh, find uh, this IP address typing uh, in uh, ipscore.com uh, and uh, we can see that uh, uh, this guy from Moscow City. Uh, so, uh, while observing platform, we can uh, find uh, also another uh, logs, uh, for example, uh, Client uh, USB devices when uh, Frost uh, uh, connect uh, his uh, USB device and uh, uh, transfer it to a remote uh, system. Also, uh, the client remote connection manager and uh, local session session manager where where we can find uh, another information about uh, established established sessions. Uh, so, case two, uh, let's uh, see into uh, operation system environment. Uh, just look into start menu, we can see uh, some, some items. Uh, you can see a poker, poker stars, poker tracker, a special poker software also instant messenger and uh, uh, ad blaster plus a software for uh, randomizing uh, hardware identificators so let's uh, launch them uh, here you can see uh, interface for id randomization and uh, while launching icq we can see a number for icq number uh, just uh, Google it. Uh, we can see that uh, this SQL number is used uh, by uh, carding, uh, carding forum member, and uh, just we can see the nickname. Uh, let's add a nickname to search string. Here we can see uh, information, full information about it, and. Uh, uh, searching for his all posts so we can find a topic about uh, selling poker accounts uh, in this case he uh, used stolen credit data details uh, deposit money about uh, several hundreds of dollars and uh, sell it uh, uh, for price about uh, uh, 10 persons uh, from account also he uh, gives a, a dedicated server for free. So let's uh, last uh, uh, case. Uh, we can see in uh, uh, installed programs Opera Browser. Uh, let's see downloads from them. Uh, here we can see uh, Casino software, Proxifier software. It's uh, tool for uh, soxification and uh, using uh, socks and proxy lists and also archive uh, so uh, let's find uh, let's find details we can see archive was downloaded from uh, host and configs uh, some archives uh, document stolen documents uh, here i will uh, here i find uh, scans of uh, passports and also we can see uh, zip archive with uh, his documents so I have no words for this uh, uh, it's all and uh, if you will any questions I will answer you after my presentation and also I want to use uh, this situation and invite you all to the nice conference uh, which uh, in Russia it's an international conference created by hackers for hackers uh, here we can we uh, you can find only technical talks free workshops uh, no commercial talks no APT talks nothing but uh, only hacking and only hardcore uh, here you uh, we'll find uh, papers from the best experts 
and uh, a lot of Russian hackers, but also the Grag, uh, Rick Flores, Michelle uh, Oru, Felix Linder, and uh, other famous security researchers. Thank you.